Hi there Aquarius, welcome to your October 2017 tarot reading. So the next two weeks, so this is going to run roughly from October 15th until the end of the month, October 31st. First of all, um, with your financial situation, I don't know what's going on. You're generating quite a bit of money, but I feel like the bookkeeping is not, is proving otherwise. So this might just mean, you know, you need to really sit down and create a budget for yourself because I do see emotional spending, okay? Um, emotional spending is not something I see often for an Aquarius person, but I also feel like when you are really, really busy, which you have been for the past few months, um, when you're really, really busy, I feel like finances kind of slip away from you. So I feel like you need to really sit down and, um, you know, if you've been spending a lot of money shopping, for example, really take out the receipts and really think about, like, um, what do I absolutely need right now? Which items are essential and which items are nice, but, you know, I don't really need them. So try to return those items because I feel like um, a little bit of budgeting, financial management is in the picture for you, okay? Um, this is a really good time for you to really invest, make some investments. And I feel like you might want to, you might want to avoid the volatility of the stock market. You might want to invest in, you know, either physical property or even uh, investments in like assets that, or, or things that are, that, that have like an um, inverse relationship with the stock market, such as gold, precious metals, minerals, and things like that. I feel like that's, it's a good way to invest and it's a good time to do that right now. Um, so, you know, make your money grow for you, and I feel like it's it's going to bear fruit, okay? The other thing I'm sensing as well is um, the way you communicate. There is a major, major breakthrough, and I'm really happy to see this for you guys. You're communicating with a lot more sensitivity. You're kind of like sitting back and letting other people finish their entire train of thoughts, no matter how tangential and um, how long-winded they are. You're becoming very patient. You're waiting for other people to finish talking before you, you interject, before you give your advice, before you help them sort out, you know, um, all the pieces of the puzzle for them. So that's really good, and I'm happy to see this for you guys. So some of you might be, in, uh, might be working in that helping profession where you're dealing with people who are very... Um, they, they're, they're very scattered, just um, intellectually, they're very scattered. Um, they might have, you know, um, a lot of holes in their, their stories, or they might have a lot of uh, worries and concerns. And I feel like you're, you're not only uh, receptive, but you're, you also, um, you, you display a very courteous manner you are becoming a lot more approachable and these people are coming to you and they're just distraught and you help them out. I feel a lot of you might be working in therapy or you are um, dealing with the public in a way where you're helping them kind of sort out their emotions so that you can get work done or so that you can help them. So the first step I feel is like um, they're coming to you distraught so you have to you know acknowledge what they're feeling so that you can better assist them. And in the process of acknowledging what they're feeling, it helps them feel validated. It helps them feel like, oh, this person is here to help me. I don't need to get defensive. So I see a lot of uh, de-escalation of situations happening from your end. And it, it looks good because I feel like, you know, you're, you're very detached. But I feel this, uh, the next two weeks, your energy is very open and you're very receptive and you want to help, you want to assist, you want to make things better for other people. Um, I'm also seeing family members, siblings, you know, especially if you have female siblings, could be cousins too. Um, they're coming to you for, um, I, I'm seeing like, you know, a, a very good soulful communication between you and female siblings or female relatives, and you're providing each other a lot of emotional support. So that's really good. Um, the other thing coming in is, um, okay, so this is work related, okay, and uh, I can't stress enough, we can't control how other people work, okay, you are very efficient, when you say you're going to do something, you don't drag your feet, you do it right then and there, 
And I feel like, you know, you're a very action, end results oriented type of a person. And you don't like it when people, you know, dilly dally. You don't like it when people take forever. You don't like it when people, you know, in the office, they start to gossip or they start to slack off or they start to get sidetracked. And it, it irks you. It aggravates you. So I feel some of you need to be extra careful and extra patient when you're dealing with, with people like this. Okay. We can't control what other people do. We definitely can control what we do and how we react to other people. And so the important thing is slow down. Don't get angry. Find an outlet for your frustration. Okay. Um, on top of that, I'm sensing some people have gone through interviews and waiting and in anticipation. It's like um, sitting on a bed of nails, just waiting, like very anxious, very... Um, it's like, when is this, when am I going to get the results? When am I going to, you know, get a, uh, an offer? So I feel like a, a job offer coming through, an offer that is really solid. And I feel like it's going to set you up very nicely for your career sector. Um, I'm sensing as well, you have a supervisor, a boss, a manager, somebody that might be uh, darker skin. So darker hair, darker skin, male or female. It's somebody that is um, quite really really intelligent like they they know everything that they're doing they're like an expert in their field and you know if it's a supervisor and they see all the other people dilly dallying you know taking their sweet time doing something it's not going unnoticed this person knows but they also know that they can't really control so even though they're in a management position they're telling you you know let's not let, let's work smart rather than work hard and they're telling you to slow down it's like they're telling you you know slow down you're you're getting everybody riled up or you are riling yourself up over nothing slow down relax and things will be okay so you're getting some reassurance from a dark skin um, um, I, I, I'm feeling supervisor manager somebody that you report to and I feel like you're anxious you're excited but you know they're, they're telling you to slow down. And I, I would say, like, trust this person. They know what they're doing. And if they tell you to slow down, you need to slow down. Otherwise, you're going to make mistakes. I feel a lot of mistakes with documents, a lot of mistakes. So you need to slow down. If you're dealing with legal documents, if you're dealing with other people's documents, if you're dealing with really serious documents, you need to slow down and, um, you know, dot your I's, cross your T's, make sure before you press that submit button, make sure everything is correct, okay? This is for your own documents or other people's documents because it has ramifications, right? So you want to be very careful. So in the process of trying to speed up, trying to get things done, trying to be productive, um, you, you might shortchange the work that you're doing. So be careful. Um, relationship sector, be patient with your partner. They're dealing with a lot a lot okay so I see some disputes coming in crabby energy uh, frustration um, do not bring your work home with you do not bring that you know chaotic frustration um, energy into your relationship into your home because I, I feel like some of you are a little bit more irritable you want to get things going you want to get things done and so just you know uh, learn to compartmentalize Learn to leave work at work. Learn to, you know, if you're upset at this person, don't take it out on another person. Um, you know, sometimes I feel like Aquarius, um, you, you do hold things in. You know, it's hard for you to express emotions. You do hold things in. And the danger of that is uh, you're upset at one person. You hold it in. You repress it. And then it comes out at the wrong person. That's not fair to the other person, right? So be careful. Um, I do see, once again, a house move, a house move. Um, it's it's going to be in the picture for you. I feel like it's going to come a lot faster than you think. And I'm also sensing it's going to be great, okay? It's going to be, it's going to feel like home. So the next place is going to feel really good. It's going to feel stable. It's going to feel abundant. It's going to feel like home. Um, I'm sensing many of you, you know, possibly moving to a place that might be a little bit uh, a ways away near a body of water. It looks good. 
Um, I'm also sensing some of you are just like physically tired. You're, you're physically tired. You're overworking. Um, mentally, you're always alert. But honestly, when your body is physically tired, your mind is going to be kind of like, um, it's like your mind's a computer, right? It needs to be rebooted. It needs to be, um, you know, defragmented. It needs to conserve energy too. And so when you're like physically tired, but your mind is so active, I feel that it, it runs away from you. So I, I do see a lot here about, you know, needing to discipline your body so that you can discipline your mind. And that is through exercise. That's through running. That's through weights, whatever it is. I feel like the, the message is discipline your body and then your mind will, will follow. If your body is tired and your mind is really, really alert and you're like, oh, I can stay up all night, I can finish up this project, that project, life doesn't work like that. Your body and your mind needs to be in sync, okay? Otherwise, you're running on adrenaline and when we run on adrenaline, we don't do things correctly, okay? So careful about that. Um, career looks really, really, really good. I feel like something is breaking open for you and it looks very promising. It looks very hopeful. You're gonna be really happy, okay? I have here the sun in your career house and that is major success. A job where you are dealing with the public, a job where you are very visible to everybody around you. So that can be a double-edged sword. If you make mistakes, everyone's gonna know. On the other hand, if you excel, everyone's going to know. So how you play with that energy, and you know, you're really smart, so I don't see you messing up. You're like a sponge. You absorb information really well. Um, but once again, you know, conduct yourself in a manner that is very professional, very um, optimistic, and very positive, okay? Office politics will fade away. You will be fine, okay? And then um, the Sun card is linked up here with the Ace of Cups. The new job will bring about new passion, new love, new relationship. So that's really uh, hopeful. And um, wherever you go, wherever you find yourself next, you're going to possibly meet a very outstanding, amazing love partner. Or at least I feel like these two things go hand in hand. So it's like you need to be professionally, financially where you want to be before the love will blossom for you. Either way, you have some really great things coming in, Aquarius. Don't fret, slow down, get yourself enough rest. Get some exercise if you are a little bit more on the inactive front. If you're just sitting you know, near a computer and uh, plugging away things all day, you need to get more um, physically active, okay? So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope it is helpful and I wish you all the best. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye.